This is episode 100 of Blockbuster Mentality. Didn't think I'd ever see the day. Oh, Did not amazing. think I'd ever see the day. Yeah, you know, I we we're desperate for a topic uh, a few days ago, so I went onto our iTunes page and started looking through the episodes because yeah. I had forgotten what we've done. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> going up on 100. Yeah. And not me. It's really you. Well, I mean, you are basically half of that. I mean, you that, started, I think... Half? I think episode 52 okay. was The Raging Bull, and that was your first episode. Yeah. And that you, was, we haven't looked back since. I know, right? I mean, I just, um, it just came on just on a whim to, you know, and then yeah. it, it, you can't get rid of me now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> been trying for, yeah, and it's been like, this is like basically the year anniversary of it, too. I think it was in May Pretty of 2017. Pretty much. Yeah, it was in May. Yeah, exactly. So hey, we, man. we've been. We have not stopped. I know. I think our only break was in September. Like you and I, the, our only break was in September of uh, Irma. Hurricane Irma yeah. I think, was our like break. And that was... Only the weather yeah. and power outages. <laughs> only, and, uh, you know, that's really it. We've, we've got Only other... a hurricane can stop us. <laughs> that's it, man. man. Only Mother Nature. This is like a true love story. <laughs> <laughs> it is uh, not a love story. No, but... but <laughs> you know. Well, the story is your love for podcasting. I think... You know, I, and I, to me, if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you. <laughs> yes, you please. It's your, please. I'll allow it. As always, <laughs> I tend to think of questions to ask Ben. If you listen to our Infinity War uh, episode, I, I came up with like 10. And Logan and, and Avengers Logan. and Age of Ultron. By the way, Ben, I got a question <laughs> for you here. No, but uh, so actually, yeah, I want to really start from the beginning is just uh, how you started doing a show. I mean, what got you going on this? I mean, I do have to give a lot of the credit to my buddy Brandon. Uh, me and Brandon started uh-huh. this together. Um, and Good guy. I want to say, I think one time, uh, you know, I had said, oh, we should, you know, just record ourselves talking about movies, like meaning like videotape. Yeah. And he says, I don't know about that. I said, I, I would do a podcast, though. And then I got in my head, like, about podcasting. And that was like, I don't know, like, probably like eight six to eight months before we actually started uh-huh. um you get that I, idea in yeah head, i was right? like oh podcast interesting like because i always thought just you know flip the camera on and just you know record put it on youtube i like never actually thought of audio recording yeah yeah um that just didn't just never crossed my mind and when he said that it stuck with me and uh-huh. then you know a few months went by and you know our, we always would talk about the latest comic book movie me and him uh, comic book movies are. Is he a true nerd? Yeah, he like I was asking him questions, <laughs> you know. Uh, so yeah, he was uh-huh. he was the comic book guy uh, out of the two of us. Um, but yeah, eventually I just said, "Hey, want to do a podcast?" And yeah. he said, "Yes," because <laughs> I knew he obviously wanted to. That he would say, you know, that he had said that months ago. Right, he'd thrown it out. Yeah. Um, so I just got a couple cheap mics on Amazon, and you know, we did a couple practice sessions you know Uh for a few weeks before we actually made it you know public it's not as easy as it seems no not at all not at all we actually start actually i didn't i ordered one mic to begin with and we started on just one microphone like and it was just like you could hear like all the echoes in the room and Uh everything well i've thought about that if we should maybe get a room mic or if we're good on our sound now Uh, maybe for video maybe yeah Yeah. we'll see but anyway so so you had limited equipment, yes. limited experience. Yes, <laughs> it just got you guys just kind of dove right in. But when was your? I didn't check the day. When was your first episode? Our first actual episode that we made public was. And what was it? <laughs> mid December. Okay. Uh, mid December of 2015. Oh wow! Yeah, so two and a half years ago. Right. Um, and I believe it was, we started incorporating a movie of the month cause our main thing was movie news. We would just, you know, say the box office results and then just talk about different things that were happening, like new yeah. movies that were coming out box, um, you know, just, uh, actors, certain ask actors are cast in a movie. We would talk about that. Um, and the name, uh, blockbuster mentality. How do we, yeah. how do we get on that? So yeah, we kind of had like a like a rap session before our actual record session. Like he came over, I think on a Tuesday night and we were set to record on a Thursday night just to talk about, all right, what are we going to talk about? (laughs) We're going to talk about this, this, this. Yeah. Um, we, all right, we need a name. Um, and then (laughs) honestly, I just Googled, uh, movie terms. Yeah. And that, was one of the terms that came up, and it just kind of stuck out to me. Yeah, and, it works well because you guys um, talked about a lot of comic books. Yeah, stuff, so I mean, right? so yeah, the blockbuster aspect of it was because we mainly talked. You know, our big thing was comic book movies, yeah. 
uh, Star Wars, right. you know, which, you know, we still talk about now and stuff. But, and movie um, news, which includes... The, which all movie news basically includes Star Wars or comic book movies. Right. <laughs> and in addition to that, you also had, uh, what, p- performance in the box office, that sort of thing? Or? Right, yeah, bo- yeah, exactly. So, I mean, obviously, blockbusters are going to get the top results. Uh, you know, obviously, that was... I think originally just to give us content to talk about because I was always going to be there. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that definitely helped. But yeah, excellent. And um, <laughs> so you so you started with Brandon, and then you've had a few different guests over the years, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, we had. Uh, I mean, obviously, Vinny. Yeah. You know, he co-hosted for a little while. Oh, uh, it's just welcome our, back. Yeah, exactly. I mean, our, our schedules kind of got messed up, uh, especially with Brandon and, and Vinny. So, I mean, you know, they didn't get kicked off or anything. They're always welcome back anytime. Um, no, they didn't have any, uh, you know, outbursts or anything. And I certainly <laughs> didn't come in here with the intention of uh, pushing anyone out of, of the space. So, right. Just to be clear to yes. anyone that's Thank listening. You. Or, Thank you. If that was a worry. <laughs> Finally, we got that out there. <laughs> uh, honestly, I had no intention of doing that at all i you just invited me back and then i just kept coming back. <laughs> he just kept coming he shows up here every other thursday <laughs> I just kind of i'm like oh or are we doing yeah i got some notes here we're gonna do a show or what and he's like well, i guess i'll you know get everything out and fire it up <laughs> <laughs> but uh what was your question uh, um well no just really just how you got started and yeah. how you've been and um you know the, the different guests so you've had yeah, Vinny, uh, uh, Joey, my brother-in-law's been on. Uh, oh, we really? also had uh, the Goat Movie Podcast, which uh, they live in California, which we met on Twitter. Um, you know, they came on for a, a couple shows. Really? Um, and yeah, it was fun to talk movies with them. Uh, but that's one thing I want to do is be more proactive and network more and try to reach out to all the other podcasts that we're, you know, interact with on Twitter to, you know, have them come onto the show, be guests. Obviously, you know, it's going to be mostly call-ins because I don't know how many live in Tampa, Florida. Right. But um, Probably not many. Yeah. But yeah, I would agree. Um, if you are if you have a podcast and you're listening, then... You know, let us know. We're open to doing that. I agree. It'd be good to to hook up with another podcast and just you know just talk. You yeah, know, exactly. Well, not I mean, anything. Not competition. Just hang out, have a conversation. Right. Definitely. Um, and I do have to mention my brother has been on a couple times yeah, when he's Matt, been in yeah. town. Matt. Yep. Uh, he's booked for all. Whenever he comes back to visit, um, he's in for yep. Star Wars movies. Yeah. Right. Yep. Exactly. That's he has to tell his wife and kids that that <laughs> is one of one of our nights on our vacation. Daddy's going to go and uh, talk about Star Wars. Okay. You are not allowed to come. <laughs> no. Okay. <You're> <laughs> so when's he when's he coming back? Uh, he comes every year, July and December. So July. So I think what's left would just be the prequels, right? For him, that for us to cover. Yeah, yeah, prequels. We we never did a New Hope. Oh no, we, we could do a New Hope. Okay, yeah. yeah. So maybe have him on for a couple of shows, yeah. a couple of episodes. Yeah, Matt talk some solo, which will be a couple months in. But oh, you for know. sure. But no, I really enjoyed the episode uh, with him doing Force uh, Awakens. Force Awakens, yep. which you know we battled. That's fine. Um, and then uh, the last Jedi, I enjoyed. Yeah, so I thought he was a great addition. So glad to have him yep. anytime. Uh, anybody else? Uh, my buddy Gray. One time uh, we did a X Men Apocalypse. We went and saw it, and then came back and did a review with him and Brandon. Nice. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's pretty much it. So yeah, we definitely need more guests on the show. Yeah, uh, we'll take anyone off the street to come in here and talk. <laughs> that's for sure. That is a hundred percent true. Uh, next question I had is, uh, what, what do you like most about doing the show? Uh, I mean, I don't have a lot of questions here. Just so we're clear, I don't have a whole he's got list. Things written down. I'm just <laughs> what do I like most about doing this the is, show, dude? This is what your 100th I mean, it's, episode. It's a celebration I, here. The thing is, I'm not a talker. Um, which, you know, I, I still have trouble with. You know, I say a lot of ums and uhs and yeah. all that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I'm not a, not a talker. But I like how this show is, I don't know, it makes me be able to actually get my feelings out there. I don't know what it is about a microphone and headphones yeah. that just makes it... I don't know if it's just easier or if I've just been doing it a lot now, so it's I'm getting gotten used to it. But uh, it's uh, again, it's it, it it's a good vessel to get things out there, my feelings, but also um, just uh, 
just I love movies. I mean, that's that's the main thing. And and one thing is it's it's therapeutic yeah. even, you well, know, we, to be able to do that. Call it like movie therapy. Yeah, movie therapy, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Finding truth in right. life and yeah. something that you can take out of a movie and apply it to some make a larger statement about something. Um yeah, I I would definitely agree with that. I would also agree. I'm not a talker either. Right. I don't really like to talk. I mean, <laughs> if I, I mean, you know, if I'm in a group of people, I'm probably not the guy dominating the conversation and not the one going on and on. You know, unless someone engages me directly about something that right. I'm interested in, I'm probably not going to say anything. Right. You know, and then I, once I get going, then it's tough to get me to shut up. Yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Lord of the Rings. That that'll get you going. Yeah. No, I think I, I'm definitely someone who feeds off other people. So I think that's why you and I have a good dynamic because we feed off each other very well. Um, yeah, and but, I would say for you, you same way with not being a talker. But I mean, again, you get yourself in front of the microphone and a pair of headphones, and I mean, you're a natural at this. I mean, you absolutely are. You are the rock of this show. I mean, <laughs> no, I mean, it's true. I mean, it, it's so easy, at least for me, it's so easy for me to talk to you like at, on this format. And I was, I remember the first time I came on, I was terrified. Yeah, it's nerve wracking. I, I had I mean. no idea what I was going to say, how stupid I was going to sound. You know, and I'm, I'm sure I said dumb things. You know, I've said a lot of nah. dumb things. Oh, just to be clear, we got some feedback on uh, bourbon does not have carbs. I yes. believe I said it did. Or, and Come on, it has Dave. calories. And calories, not carbs. Just want to correct the record Jeez, on Louise. that. Thank you for the feedback. <laughs> uh, but no, I I, I agree. I, this is not something I would ever imagine myself doing in a million years, and yet doing it, it feels like the most natural thing in the world at some at, at some level. Yeah, you know, just getting here and talking. And you're right. It's that therapy aspect. It's just that outlet. I guess yeah. it's that cr- creative outlet of getting out your your thoughts your feelings emotions ideas you know that whole thing so definitely yeah yeah again like you said an outlet and one of the my favorite moments ever on the show is just you after a couple weeks just saying how uh to me just how this is the most fun you've ever had doing something in a long time (laughs) and that's just like kind of stuck with me and that gave me more of a drive again yeah you know because i was i was kind of getting a little burnt out at that point just because we were doing movie news so much Uh and movie news you have to keep up on and like be and you have to record every week to stay relevant and i was just like getting so obsessed with staying relevant and, you know uh it's a lot of energy yeah exactly yeah. and it's just like i got burnt out and then finally you came on we did an analysis show totally on, accidental on raging bowl yeah. yeah it was just so chance like it just sort of just happened uh organically and um but yeah i mean it's just i remember you said to come on and i, I you were like what <laughs> I, I think i sat on that text for a little bit of time and i'm like do I? Because <laughs> it's intimidating. Mm, yeah. Uh, it, it, what it am I going to say? Yeah. Turns out two and a half hours worth. Yeah. I mean, up until not too long ago, I still got like really anxious. Like I got filled with anxiety and like was super nervous before every show. Like yeah, yeah. where I'm finally at a point where I'm, you know, I'm, I'm comfortable to start a show. Like sometimes I don't know what to say right away. Right, you right. Know, we've had those issues, but it's like once you get going, it's like, yeah, it's we, not as nerve wracking. We certainly hit a groove uh, show wise. Yeah, and we, you know, we just go and it right. just goes. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, it sounds like how are you going to talk for two minutes? I don't know. <laughs> you just kind of do it. And it's then true. You, you just keep going. I know. I don't we know. Just, yeah. <laughs> You just fill in that space, and Somehow. again, I'm not a talker. I feel like I can never do this in an actual conversation <laughs> with someone, but yet here I am. I, I, know. I think I think the headphones help a lot. The Beats by Dr. Dre. Yeah, they are the best. Uh, I like my <laughs> earbuds. <laughs> earbuds. <laughs> They're nice. We've also upgraded equipment along the way. We've yeah, that's helped. Yep. Beautiful Electro Voice 320 mics. They are just <laughs> gorgeous. Gorgeous. I'm pesting. <laughs> it sounds it right so now. good. Yep. I never felt like uh, my voice has ever been captured properly until I spoke yeah, into this I microphone. Know. Yeah. You know, it's I crazy how like, much the actual quality microphone helps. Yeah, we were doing the different ones. I always felt weak. Uh, my voice just felt strained and weak. And then I talk into this thing and I yeah. feel like a strong man. <laughs> I'm powerful. <laughs> it's true. Uh, you did not need the mic for that uh, my, in my eyes. You're still the that. same powerful man. This but, is why uh, I keep coming back week after yeah. week is the flattery. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, the equipment helps. Again, you keep needing those drives, those inspirations. Because again, like I said, I was getting burnt out for a while. You showed up and, you know, got, uh, you know, we changed up the show a little, you know, tweaking things. And that, you know, gives me more drive. Yeah. And, new equipment you know you just got to keep 
you know, evolving. And that's kind of how I want to get the show is just, you know, keep evolving it, see what works, see what doesn't work. I always want to change things up when we can just to see what really just to serve you guys and to see what you guys like and right. what you're looking for. So if we're blathering on, well, please excuse the celebration episode, but if, you're, if we're blathering on about certain things, you know, let us know if it's not working. You know, we want to make sure that, you know, we, we, this is, you know, we're realistic here. This is a hobby. Right. We also want listeners. <laughs> right, right, exactly. We, we, we want the best of we both We don't want worlds. to talk to anyone. You know, we, we, we don't want to talk to no one. We want to exactly. you know, talk to people. We want to share ideas. Right. and We're not going to feelings. sell our souls for an audience, but on the other hand, we want to also make the best content that we right. can. Right, exactly. So, yeah, I mean, again, if you're listening and you've never reached out, definitely reach out to us because we want to know what you guys are thinking, yeah. what you guys feel about certain tops we, topics we talk about, how you guys feel about movies because, I mean, that's really what's brought us together as movies. Yeah, I mean, really, that's That's totally. the main thing is movies has brought us together and just talking about it and if you have a thought on something do not feel afraid uh no to, reach, to out, reach yeah. out to we'll us. take critique criticism criticism praise whatever we just want to know what you guys are thinking so that we you know we have our, our our finger on the pulse of you know what's working for everyone yep but yeah this has become a passion for me as well a very unexpected one um and you mentioned movies um also, you know, I was when I was looking at the another question I had was when I was looking at the list of episodes I saw under iTunes it's under movies and TV is that just a broad category? Yeah, or? that's it. iTunes. Yeah, just categorizes categorizes it as TV and so, film. Okay. So well, because my follow up to that was um, since we're just talking show in general and maybe the future of the show. Uh, are you open to TV? Yeah, as a topic. Yeah, definitely. You don't, um, want, you don't want to limit just to movies. No, I mean obviously the name implies that we're just movies, blockbuster right. mentality. But I think there's different, you know, uh, branches that can go off, you know, from this show. I mean, blockbuster mentality, yeah, is the show, but you can have, you know, blockbuster mentality TV, blockbuster mentality movies, blockbuster mentality. Uh, Beer, you know, just you know, any, have our own brand sort of, of beer? yeah, black <laughs> well, mentality know. beer. You heard it here first. Well, it's just a white can Miller Lite <laughs> at this point, but so okay, so if there's a because oh, and we both watch television, uh, not that we want to do a Game of Thrones per se or something like that, but if there's a if there's a series that catches us both, yeah. Uh, that's like something that no one's ever heard of, like a Seinfeld. Or right. Something. Yeah. Speaking of which, yeah. I know you're waiting, but have what? you watched any of Westworld yet? I saw the see. first episode. Okay. And uh, I'm I'm gonna wait for more because okay. the one is just it's not enough yeah. for me and then I think we probably talked about this the problem it, now you almost have to binge watch I feel <laughs> or at least group watch right. where you watch three or four in a, in a pack and then watch three or four more and then watch three or four more to finish it I, just to do the once a week thing is not the way these movies are or I'm sorry the way these TV shows are written they're, they're, they're written so dense that you just lose all detail if you're waiting seven days to watch you know well i i think that's true disagree. in a sense okay. but some shows i'm glad i don't binge um but some but at the same time i wish i could uh like westworld like i'm dying to watch the next episode uh, yeah. like i want to i want to watch the next one just to see what happens but at the same time like you know uh i have a buddy at work i talked to justin um uh, you know talk to him about like we talk about theories uh -huh. you know we we uh, are actually able to develop okay. you know actual thoughts about it whereas when you binge they can be meshed together and you don't yeah. really come up with theories because you're like all right let's watch the next episode let's watch the next next episode so i guess i'll modify that statement then unless you are engaging within the, with the show excuse me within the show with with the show in your mind for right. that whole week or parts of that week if you just watch it put it away in your mind and then wait for the following week and watch it and then put it away that's not a good experience. No, but if you're yeah, looking yeah. up stuff online and keeping up to it, then I can see that that Definitely, may be yeah. working. Yeah. No, I'd say no. I I totally got your same, and I mean, yeah, that's yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. But no, but I can see what you're saying. Yeah. So what? That was the third week now. We're in episode three now. Yeah. So yeah, this week coming up will be four. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So no, but I haven't. Yeah. Which will be the time of this release. <laughs> It'll be <laughs> yesterday. Five, but at the time of this six. recording, it's this Sunday. There you go. We record two episodes every other Thursday and then release them the following Mondays. Just, no. I think we say that every episode now. We gotta give that disclaimer. It's oh, by the way, track. I'm by the way, twenty minutes in, I'm Ben Seeker. That's Dave. This is Blockbuster Mentality. And this is our special 100 episode. 100, 100. Hey, oh. Hey, oh. So uh, yeah, 100 yeah. episodes, and we're still we're still going. Silly. I mean, I, I don't have any intention of quitting. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not, because I hate to sit here talking about. I think I did uh, talking about myself. Um, 
I hope I not. Did, I think I did two episodes all by myself. Oh, man. That must have been tough. <laughs> it was. It was. <laughs> Uh, but when you have topics set and yeah. you know your thoughts on those topics, it's it gets easier. If you prepare, it's right. easy, but it still has its challenges, one, that's for sure. One thing I'll say is my notes uh, have gotten smaller and smaller. Yeah, He's, he, you're doing less pre- preparation. <laughs> less prep. Well, that's I, for sure. I used to walk in with a movie analysis show, and I had like three pages of notes. I know, yeah. And it's just well, like... Well, our movie analysis shows have definitely evolved over time, I and mean, we used to just have notes over the whole movie, go scene by scene. They'd be two hours long. Then we, you know, incorporated the take six, pick six, pick six uh, yeah. where we picked our six favorite oh, moments. Six. And that, you know, that helped, you know, keep us structured and keep us uh, <laughs> Instead of going. going scene by scene, yeah. Right, exactly. And now we're kind of just still doing free form, but we're not doing scene by scene, but we're still touching on the moments we want to touch on like you know it doesn't matter you know you don't have to talk about when uh robert de niro's eating (laughs) eating applesauce in taxi driver for a a split second you don't have to touch on that it's funny though just touch on the important moments in every scene this is the problem right because when you watch and you take notes and you're i want to call us students of film but it's just lovers appreciators you know, you end up no. When you're watching the movie for prep, you end up noticing a lot of it's stuff. It's true. Yeah, yeah. You're like, look because you're specifically yeah. looking. For oh, that. I saw yeah. the thing in the background. I saw the way the camera did this. I saw the way he <laughs> lifted his arm. You know. So since doing the show, do you see yourself even if we're not doing a movie for a show? Do you see yourself looking at movies differently? Oh, definitely. Without it's question. crazy, isn't it? I, I try to put it aside. Me too. But, yeah. Sometimes it alters me because uh-huh. I'm like, I have to, you know. Uh, I I need to know what this truly means right. when it's like just watch it, dude. Just if are you entertained by it or no? I know. You I know? mean, I went from like a naturally critical person to someone who's just way too critical. It's just it. it oh, it so that's be, a new thing, right? That you're way too critical. Okay. <laughs> well, movie wise, I used yeah, but now I've now I've developed like a way of a way of explaining you know why it sucks. Right. Before yeah. it used to be like it sucks. Now I can say. The director sucks because he didn't do this. They put the music here, and that didn't make sense. The actress, that's not believable. They, you know, that those sorts of things, which is not good. But on the other hand, we could also, I can also appreciate a movie like Phantom Thread in a way that I probably never could have right. appreciated yeah, exactly. it otherwise. Yeah, yeah. I th- I, it's weird because you know, even if this stays a hobby, I will always be grateful that this. Actually, I feel like this. I've learned a lot about movies just oh, absolutely by this, and something I've always loved. I've always loved movies, but mm-hmm. never really understood why. Whereas this show kind of helped me understand why I love movies. Why? Because you're able to talk it out. You know, usually these things are just in right. people's head. Like, oh yeah, I like that movie. You know, it's just it's just something that just kind of floats away. But yeah. And the the themes of these films, a lot of them tend to hit on not the same thing, but similar things. The, there's a way of relating these seemingly fantastical, strange, in a diff, very different setting than you're in, to your own life. Yeah, and it's 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 almost weird. It's almost like know. bizarre the way. <laughs> Something I mean, like I finally had some insight on Raging Bull recently on that, and you know, in there, there's a movie, a black and white movie from 1980 about a very violent, horrible man, boxer, and then you know, you can still find if it's well done, the acting is good, the story is good, the direction is good, you can find something there that you can take away right. to help. I don't want to call it self help because we touched on that movie movie therapy idea, <laughs> which is true. But you can get something there to yeah. to piece together yeah, some that, piece of that's missing in your own life or something like that. Yeah, it's it's great. And yeah, like even like the technical stuff. Like I feel like I understand more. Yeah. And, and all that. But Which yeah. I don't even know. I took a, one film class in college, yeah. and I used to I, I, I memorized a lot of these terms, which I've forgotten now. Uh, but yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I mean, it's just it's great. It's been it's in this show has been um, it has enhanced my life right in ways that i can't explain so i want to thank you for that well that's great no i mean that's that makes me want to drive more for the show and you know just keep going because i mean we you know even now you know i still have my moments just like i don't really feel like recording tonight but oh i hear you even every time though when i do it's just like i feel good like i i feel good after the show and it's just yeah I'm there. Tonight is one of those nights for me. Yeah. I've got a lot of work to do. I've got stuff going on at home. That's not bad, but I just got stuff going on. I got a lot on my mind. 
and I'm here and it's gone. It's right. Just yeah. away somewhere. Yeah. It's, it's not, <laughs> none of it's bothering me yeah. right now. And and that's, I know, that's yeah. another thing I found is just every, every, you know, even when I was doing it once a week, um, which is too much. I, yeah, and I almost would text Brandon like oh, I don't feel like doing it tonight, <laughs> but like I just I'll just do it. And I'm so glad I did. You know, yeah, it's, it's a just credit to you that you kept up with it. Yeah, and uh, a credit to you that you know we found each other. So. Yeah, I'm so glad. <laughs> and another fun fact: you had texted me that you know, oh hey, I see you're on a show that's yeah, awesome. I came across like, you. Yeah, you, yeah, you know, you were just you know just saying how you know you're almost like proud and nothing just, but praise. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, it was like, oh yeah, this is the best show ever. Um, but uh, yeah, I watched a few episodes. I'm but, like, I was just so happy for you i yeah. guess and like impressed that you had done it right and uh yeah um but i but yeah a little fun i was in uh, colorado uh when you texted me uh so i'll always remember that moment i was in colorado it was in april of uh, last year it's beautiful yep and then we uh again recorded uh may of uh 2017 colorado is a beautiful place isn't it? yes it is amazing and i have family that lives there now so oh nice free place to stay i will hit you right <laughs> there you go <laughs> yeah the last uh, last little bit of point i i wanted that we talked about guests so we definitely want to bring on any of them yeah the other thing is just general format um we've evolved over the years right well you've evolved over the years and we've evolved over the year right uh, yeah we, we have i mean it's that's what i like about it too is just evolving you know keep it interesting keep it you know so, test out different things. Yeah, so we, we've done, we did the scene by scene, we did the pick six, and now we've opened it up to a little bit more free form where you guys can, where we just kind of talk a little bit before we get going, just something on our minds. Um, I mean, where do we, I mean, this is just a, this is really free form. Now, I don't know really even know what I'm yeah. about to say <laughs> next, but just to say, I mean, are we, are you, are we limited to movies? Are we, and possibly television? Is there, is this, uh, is this, this is just, being you talking that's getting recorded but is this uh is there something here between uh, is there a ben and dave show that's just a ben and dave show that i think at so at some I think, point we do movies yeah. here at some point we do something else there i don't know i mean personally i'm afraid like to say yes <laughs> just because i like in real life i would you know if this was like a meeting i had to do for work every every week i'd <laughs> okay. be like uh, uh but like just for some reason i don't know just for some reason a microphone and headphones just works for me so yeah i i'd say i'm pretty confident especially you know i mean even this show we're doing right now we're we, we're talking right now and it's <laughs> free form we didn't yeah. rehearse any of this I we didn't a, prepare we didn't i had 10, uh, ten words written on a piece of paper yeah roughly and like <laughs> so very, i think i'm pretty confident to say yeah I think there is a future of just, you know, it doesn't have to be just movies. It can be just life. It General can be TV. Yeah. It can be music. It can be anything. Yeah. I mean, I think uh, I, I'm pretty confident to say that. Uh, yeah. But I mean, it all depends on our audience. I mean, I, I hope. Right. We want to serve them and yeah. we want to make sure everyone is happy. Obviously. Yeah. All that stuff. But uh, you know, it is something to think about. I mean, definitely. It, 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 you know, we started with just movie deep movie scene by scene analysis shows and those are grueling yeah i mean they really are <laughs> it's, it's grueling it's for true. us i mean it's even like even the... when you're watching the movie because i'm like taking <laughs> yeah. notes on every single thing it's and a it's lot just... to ask of the listener yeah. here to to listen to you know right uh, what could potentially be a um and i thank all of you that listened um because it is a you know it's a bit of work and hopefully entertaining, but also you know to to ask someone to listen to an episode that is longer than the movie running time, right? Yeah, is really yeah. a lot to ask. Here. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I think our Jurassic Park episode was two hours. Uh, Raging Bull. Uh, so I mean, obviously we see the you know statistics. Yeah. We see people did listen. Well, uh, it's hard. Point, I mean, it's so. a lot. To, you, we're we're all busy. We all have things going on, and to sit and and uh, to listen to one, maybe you you know you must do it in pieces because people generally don't have a spare two and a half hours to right. just plant themselves. And yeah. Listen. Uh, so yeah, so we'll see about that. I also have the idea I, now. Me, this is just me throwing my own ideas out. Um, I think we maybe talked about this, so I don't know if this is unauthorized or not, but I also have <laughs> unauthorized. maybe 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 reducing the running times in some of our shows. Maybe we can try to keep a movie analysis to a half hour. Yeah. If we have got another side topic, we make that maybe another show just to maybe experiment a little bit with a Ben and Dave dynamic yeah. where we're talking about making cheeseburgers or something. <laughs> no, I'm just you know, throwing it out as, 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 a, as a topic. I like cheeseburgers. I love them too. <laughs> Without a bun, please. Yes. No bun. Of course, no Dave bread. is, is no 
carb, lots carb of, free. <laughs> lots of bacon and cheese. <laughs> That's right. Uh, so maybe we might, you might see, just so you guys know, though, just you might, you might see something that looks weird and uh, has a shorter running time. And that's what you know. You'll know why. If it's us doing some other thing, you know, just trust us. Give it a listen. Right. And let us know if it's not working. It's not working. But we want to try to do something. Something. We want to make it the best for everybody. Right. Best for the audience. Best for us. We want to make everybody happy. So yeah, no, I mean you're you're right on the nose there. Um, so yeah, I mean I'd love to have a movie analysis at thirty minutes. That would be amazing. Uh, just you know, time wise and just it's tough. Uh, and I'm I'm the worst defender because yeah. <laughs> I I end up with questions, ideas, and I go yeah. and I go off on tangents. So I mean it's because again, as we are you know the theme of the show so far is just how <laughs> therapeutic it is and just how. <laughs> You know, just how good it feels when you when you do it. It's just yeah. you, you just want to keep talking. You really don't want it to end. So I think that's kind of our, you know, Speaking curse. Of not, <laughs> yeah, I know. We just keep going. Speaking of not wanting things to end, is I really feel I'm still a little bit lost after Oscar season. To be honest with you, really? Like, yeah. Well, how so? What do you mean? Well, I just loved the build up to the Oscars and to in 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 uh, getting into all of those movies and yeah. talking about them. And now I feel like we went from like. A beautiful sculptures yeah. to like <laughs> popcorn, you know. Yeah, it's I mean not that's bad popcorn, that's but typically what what happens? I mean, all the Oscar movies are typically going to come out mainly November, December, but technically it starts like September. Yeah. So September, December, that's our, that's our movie season. That's our indie movie season. People who you know are really deep into film, who love those, you know emotional movies who aren't just into the action deadpools okay, yeah, anymore yeah, yeah. which we love you know we, of we love those movies but i just we, feel like in conflict with myself because i'm i'm embracing the popcorn i've come around to marvel i've rewatched all those movies as i've said already and i'm loving it but uh, i feel like i'm missing something on the back end there you know it's like so i, I don't know it, it it's it's yeah. it's been hard because i think that's partly why i'm not inspired for a topic quite because i feel like we had some really deep stuff that was just behind us yeah, and there's like true. nothing I'm really looking at. That's it's kind of like yeah, when you're in the NFL. I mean, it's September to December. <laughs> you're, know, you know, like, yeah. oh, man, what do I do? So the, I mean, this is ba- training. This has basically been movie off season. You know, the indie movie, the award movie. So maybe that's what I'm season. feeling. Yeah. yeah, it's like a hangover. Almost. Yeah, I can yeah. see that. Yeah. I mean, but I think yeah, cool I mean, stuff coming out though. It's not we got no definitely. We just did Infinity War, which I l- really liked. I mean, yeah. I guess I'm just a Marvel guy now, and I resisted it. Which I'm finally happy that I've converted another. Come I have on, another convert. Yeah, so you got me. No, you really did. I yeah. think it's just by sheer force of repetition. <laughs> I don't know. Although I, you know, in my defense, I really did like the first Iron Man movie without yeah. talking to you about it. <laughs> <laughs> I must say that. <laughs> and a couple others. Uh, speaking of upcomings, before we get out of here. Um, solo. Yes, I know you solo, expressed yep. your reservations for this film. Yeah, yeah, a couple episodes ago, or Infinity War episode, I right. think I said I was nervous about it. And I think I told you, I think it's going to be good. Yeah. I don't I, mean, I, don't, I, I want it to be good. Now they I, shuffled um, up. We've got Ron Howard, who. Uh, yeah, took over for Lord and Miller. Thank who you. Ron Howard, uh, I mean. I mean, are you a fan of his any of his movies? I mean, I, obviously, Beautiful Mind. Yeah, it reminds me of like. Uh, I don't know, I'll call him like Zemeckis or something, where it's like there's there's gonna there's a level of competency, uh, a base level. Yeah. Even the um, the uh, I'm sorry, the Robert Langford. What's the uh, Robert Langford? Um, uh, Langdon. Robert Langdon. Uh, what the heck? Da Vinci Code. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all pretty good. You know, he doesn't really make a, a stinker. I don't right. think. Apollo 13. Right. So Ron Howard's a you know he's a good filmmaker. Willow. Willow. Oh, <laughs> Willow. Oh, I would do Willow. By the way, I'm gonna do it. I was just talking to a guy at work about that today. Oh, I haven't thought of Willow in so long. What a great movie. That Warwick was Davis. Produced by George Lucas, I believe. I believe. Yeah, I think it's a Lucasfilm yeah. movie, and yeah, directed by Ron Howard <laughs> with industrial Val Light Kilmer. Magic doing the yeah Val Kilmer <laughs> before Val Kilmer turned into whatever creature. He what is he? <laughs> what is that thing? Yeah, beautiful Mel Kilmer. Val Kilmer. Um, yeah, but anyway, so. Um, what are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> on Solo, Ron also, Howard. Ron Howard. Uh, bringing him in was a good choice. Um, we saw the initial shots of the movie, and it's really kind of nondescript. And then as the, as the footage comes out, it's still not clear really yeah. that there's a story here yeah. other than some nice-looking effects. Yeah, it'll be an adventure, obviously. Yeah. Uh, it'll be how he won the Falcon, how he met Chewie, it seems like. 
Um, but other than that, yeah, what the actual story is, we don't know. Don't know. We're, um, we're getting a, a definite impersonation of Han, of a Han Solo here. Yeah, which I've noticed in this last clip, which I sent you today, was uh, that must have been part of Ron Howard here because we didn't get. A, yeah, it felt like the first direction was gonna. I think he had shorter hair, didn't he? Uh, I don't know about I first, that, but I definitely think some of the first clips we saw of some of the first trailers were the Lord and Miller cut. Um, the one, you know, Lord and Miller obviously were the directors originally, but then, you know, Ron Howard took over. So I think that might be the case. But yeah, I lately. Think the first pictures, he had a different haircut. I could be wrong. Yeah. But, uh, you're getting more of a Han Solo impersonation, which isn't terrible. Yeah. And you're getting, I mean, good actors, I think. I mean, you think yeah, Lando's yeah. going to be good? I'm pretty sure. Right? Yeah, I mean, I love Donald Glover. Yeah, it's going to be good. Uh, I, I, and I told you, go ahead. Okay. No, you're. I know you're going to mention Amelia Clark. I assume. Yeah. Yeah, I think she's going to be fine. I I really like. Well, first of all, I like her as a brunette. <laughs> hey. Hey. What do you want from me on that? This um, guy. But uh, I think I, I, yeah, I said to you in text earlier. I, I liked. I really, really liked her in Terminator Genesis. I thought she was fantastic as an action chick. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, I don't know. What do you think about her in general? I mean, I I mean, I like Daenerys the character. You know, I root for her and right. everything. I but. There's some scenes I I don't think Amelia Clark's the greatest actress. Yeah, so um, I agree. Yeah. However, I saw her in Terminator Genesis. So I'm like, wow. So yeah, and I never saw cool. it. Yeah. So she's like, yeah. she just plays an action girl. I mean, really well, competently. It's not like they're like she's kicking people and they go flying a million feet or anything like that. She's just like I think she gets hit. She's just just good. She's she was really good. So if there's anything like that, that was sort of a tough and gritty movie, which she did did very well. If there's any bit of that in this movie, then she'll be just fine. Yeah. Here. So uh, I like that choice. I I think this is going to be a good movie. Yeah, I, really I do too. Do. Yeah, that last clip, the you know clip I <laughs> yeah. sent you today yeah, was you just. Yeah. You know, him in like a standoff uh-huh. with these guys with a Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson says he's going to take care of it. And Han is being classic Han, you know, saying, you know, being cocky and just like, I got this. And uh, it just, it, the more I see him speak, I yeah. definitely, he's got like the speech pattern of, of Han. Again, it doesn't have to be an impersonation of Harrison Ford. It's just got to feel like Han Solo, you know, yeah, it's got to feel like you that character exactly no um so yeah i mean this last clip has me more excited for the movie i agree and you know if you han solo is one of the greatest characters in all of at least action film yeah and if you can't do something good with this character then you suck right? yeah exactly ron howard is a is a good director he's a competent director he's been making movies for you know decades right he knows what he's doing let's just hope that i mean you're given it's almost a sense you're like you're given a gift yeah you've got han solo here. yeah seriously I mean, this stuff almost kind of writes itself right? yeah i mean yeah i mean it's it doesn't seem that hard i mean obviously we've never written a script before but you but, know you know but then you take a look at what you don't it's not really clear what the movie is they're on some rail thing they're yeah I mean, everything's it's, cloudy and dark yeah. and lightning it's i kind of like that we don't know what's going on i mean maybe that's why like subliminally i'm like thinking like oh it's not gonna be good but it's like i just don't know what, what it's gonna be about i just need to see a little more my only worry is it's gonna be a lot of smoke and mirrors and no real story <laughs> That's, yeah. that's my worry. It's yeah, going to be a lot of too. just like just jokes, here. nonsensical like, action jokes, yeah. followed up by bad guys with guns, followed up by we somehow escape, and then right. and then the movie ends. And you're like, okay, that was fun, but I'm not really sure there was really a movie here. Um, so that, nah, yeah. those are my thoughts. I can't yeah. wait to see it though, and I really want to do a, a show on it. Yeah, no, I yeah, I mean, we'll definitely have to give our review on it. That's for sure. Oh, and yeah, so I got more. Oh God, I always have no. More. Please. So should we? T- so here's a question to you and to the audience. Anyone still listening? <laughs> should we? Should we get you? Now you talked about doing movie news and how difficult that was, and we kind of flirted with that too. But because the, the the problem with news is, if you're doing news, you have to be newsy, which means you have to have the information out. As it's coming out, right, and that's really hard to do with a podcast. I mean, yeah, because absolutely. by a once a week podcast, right? Yeah. By the time the news comes out and then you talk about it, it's old, right? And we we struggle a little bit with that with movies, but um, the debate we've had internally, and you know, just here we throw it out. I mean, should we should we focus on movies that people are watching now? I mean, we did um, sh- we did Amadeus, right. 
I love Amadeus. It's an amazing film. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, no, I absolutely agree. Yeah. No, I mean, clearly. I mean, it's, yeah. it's just a brilliant film. Definitely. But who cares about Amadeus? That's the question. Right. I mean, that's the question yeah. we don't know. It's just something for someone two years from now can be like, oh, yeah, look, Amadeus. I'm yeah. going to listen to this episode. So, so is it yeah, more, it's one of those. Is it more important that, one we hit, off. that we hit Infinity War, that we hit Solo, that we hit the stuff that's going on and then throw in our takes to you guys? Or is it more important that we dig you know, back into the catalog? It's, right. it's a balance. Because right. we sort of started as a deep movie analysis. Because, I mean, we could continue want to, you know, we want to do things we love and what we're familiar with. Mm-hmm. Um, but also we want to know that you guys are listening. You exactly. know, we want to, we, you know, don't want to just be talking to ourselves here. Yeah. Um, if you're not getting so, used yeah, out think, of these hour, uh, hour long shows, uh, right. these movies that you're never going to watch or care about then you know are we wasting both of our times or right. you know, not 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 it's a waste of time but right we want to serve the audience right exactly right. um so i mean i think that's definitely you know audience definitely yeah. let us know and also <laughs> um yeah i think i think we should you know focus a little bit more on just topical things you know things that uh, will you know get people interested yeah for sure um and then just you know maybe once a month do an old movie analysis show that's not a bad you know, idea things yeah. like that classic um, movie of the month right exactly yeah yeah um like you know because even annihilation we did that a couple months after it came out so like things like that we can do you know newer yeah. movies right um but if, even that one was uh i mean if we scroll on imdb i mean that one was popular really yeah popular. i mean that one right. is uh, that one is uh i haven't really talked to anyone in real life other than you about that film but that one seems to be sticking with people in, right. in a different way. Maybe it's starting to fade now since we've released our episode. But yeah, yeah. interesting film. I agree. I mean, yeah, so that was semi-topical, but yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah. but yeah, I mean, obviously our schedules are different. <laughs> I mean, sometimes we have to do the Skype shows, so hopefully we can see, yeah. you know, like something like Han Solo opening weekend where we can get those reviews out um right away right um but i mean even infinity war that good good response uh and that was like you know the weekend after it came out um dang so, movie pass yeah, I couldn't yeah. Get to that thing. come on and then i ended up buying my ticket anyways i know it's hate ridiculous it. hate it <laughs> so send your donations to dave yeah. um and uh he'd appreciate that i gotta go to movie pass and i gotta get my popcorn so. but yeah man I'm, I'm excited to see where the show goes i, um, I mean i'm happy with where it's gone so far uh it's obviously been a great year. you know yeah absolutely i'm great s- three years for you almost yeah almost. almost three years so i i have no intentions of stopping anytime soon just want to keep getting better keep getting yeah. you know more listeners absolutely you know, just to you know be able to talk to people and you know maybe you know this doesn't become a hobby anymore this becomes something that uh i can truly say i do that's uh, i'm passionate about and hey i happen to do it for a living well yeah that's the ultimate dream i mean the idea that we can sit here and and do this show for a living is the ultimate i mean it wouldn't get better than that i don't know who pays for the dental and the 401k Mm. but we'll figure that out we'll figure that out (laughs) as we go well let's get the t-shirt budget yeah (laughs) that's just what to say is just give us a t-shirt budget first follow us on pay uh uh, become a patron patron on patreon donate to us and you know we'd really appreciate it you get shout outs on the show we'll shout out your name yeah you got a question you want to ask ben anything personal he'll answer it i'll be like yo <laughs> this is what i think about that first i <laughs> real quick we were voice. talking about donald donald glover who is obviously playing lando in the new new han solo movie yeah he is uh his rapper name is childish gambino uh-huh. uh, just came out with a new uh song he debuted it on snl First of all, really? and then he released the video. Uh, definitely check out some of his SNL skits. He even has a Lando skit. Did you, did you see any of them? No, I don't watch SNL anymore. Um, good, well, I don't either. Out. I just okay. see him all on YouTube. I'll check it out. Um, I like him. He's cool. He's uh, he's got a real kind of retro ness about him. Yeah, I don't he's know got how to explain retro. That. He's got, but also like a, a relatable vibe to him. Like, yeah. uh, did you see him on Community at all back when he was on that? I never watched. Okay, it. I, I mean, I wasn't a regular watcher of that. I've seen a couple of episodes, but what I saw was funny. But I'm a big fan of Atlanta, which is an, a show he has out, which is yeah, on the second last, season. I need to check that out. Um, that's a really good show. Who's on um, there with him? I mean, so, he's just, really the oh, only okay. known he's actor. Yeah, um, right, I'll check that out. And he's, you know, kind of the down and out guy who's trying to make it big in the the music scene. This uh, music video is 
it's intense. Yeah, this music video. I mean, you you watched it, right? I watched I mean, it. It's, uh, and it's so crazy. the song debuted, and then he released the video during SNL oh, okay. while he was hosting. Wow. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty intense. I mean, the song is interesting. You know, get captivates you right away, and then once, and then the next second, he's shooting a guy in the head. It's all about um, gun violence, yeah, and all that stuff. And he's doing these weird little. Just his dance moves, but as he's doing that. that, you know, he's kind of distracting you from what's happening right. in the background, and, and that's kind of just how turns and blows someone's head off. Right, exactly. <laughs> I mean, it's you know, it's it's it, nuts. It, it, it's very artistic, obviously. I mean, yeah. obviously, he's sending a, some sort of message in a way, and I'm not gonna try to understand what it's like to be you know a black man in you know America today. Um, but uh, but. It's a nice, uh, I just call it a nice short film. Right, right exactly. Yeah. That's, I, I kind of see it. It's definitely a piece of art to me. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I, I've watched it a few times already, and I think it's definitely, it says a lot. Um, I agree. And I like Donald Glover a lot. Obviously, don't want to get into too much politics on the show. That's not a future of the show that I want to get into much is politics. Yeah, but, I think uh, <laughs> I'd agree with that. I mean, in, it's, it's, politics is hard enough in person with people you know. Never mind. You know, right. an audience out there. It's just so, you know, I have got a lot of ideas. I've got a lot of political ideas, a lot of thoughts, but I keep them to myself because right. I don't want to make anybody mad. Right. I want exactly. to have fun here. Yeah, exactly. Wanna, yeah. This is something that's therapeutic and exactly. talking politics doesn't seem very therapeutic We're to me. All, I mean, we might touch on, I think we talked about Trump here and yeah. there, but just for laughs, right. I think. Um, and, you know, not take, to, to take things so seriously. But yeah, we're all about. I'm all about love. I'm all about right. getting together. I'm all about having fun. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I love everybody, and I wish everybody love, love everybody. As I think that's the best message there is. I mean, exactly. yeah, we have our differences and stuff like that. I mean, look, we you know went down our our uh, you know an upcoming show. We messed around with our top five list, and we disagreed, and we laughed at each other, and that's yeah. that's what it's all about. Exactly. You know, not to take things so seriously. Right. The world takes everything so seriously. It seems like there's a. There's a headline every day <laughs> where people are losing their minds, going hysteric. Yeah. And thank it, God we've got this little place where we can come together yeah, and exactly. you know, like n- ignore the rest of the world for a little bit of time. And I yeah. hope that our listeners can do the same. Yeah. One moment it's Republicans trashing Democrats, then it's Democrats trashing Republicans, yeah. or it's you know, it's just like leave come me out. On. Of it. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But again, this music video I think says a lot, and I think it's very artistic, and I think it's something everyone should see. Yeah, just check it out. It's, Absolutely, it's powerful. Um, and I, I just like what Donald Glover's been doing, uh, it's kind comedy of like, wise, music wise, and uh, go ahead. No, no, this one is almost it's almost a little bit of comedy, a little bit of violence, a right, little bit yeah. of just self expression. So yeah, yeah definitely. Cool and I like how yeah he's like shoots the guy and then he like places the gun in this like cloth. Yeah, and it's just like you know obviously it speaks on like gun laws and things like that. But it's just it's 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 a powerful video and it's uh, something again if you even if you love film I think you should watch it if you haven't seen it yet. Man, you know it's. You know, don't don't want to get too deep into it, but no, again, no, it's, no, yeah. I just I, I really I, I'm a big fan of Donald Glover. <laughs> I'm a are, big fan of Donald Glover. It's going to be a good Lando. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so too. And there's a Lando skit on uh, SNL, which I think you would enjoy. Well, I will check that out for you. Please do. <laughs> I will. All right, hundredth episode. Yeah, in I, the bag. I actually have final thoughts for the first time. Yes, it's finally. It's not. It's not. A, it's not a lot. It's just. I hope you all have enjoyed this process as much as I have. That's my yeah. final thought. I have enjoyed, you know, coming on here as a. I thought it was a one-off, which turned into uh, every every other week. <laughs> I've done yeah you know, almost the majority of the episodes. Yeah, few, that's really. true. And uh, you know, I hope you guys are really again. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. I love it. This has become a passion for me. I know it's a passion for Ben, and I hope you guys have that share. I hope that comes across to you all, right. and you're and you're loving it. And uh, if you're not, let me know. And if there's something that we can do to serve you, let us know. And people love what other people are passionate about, yep, just like on La La Land, La La Land, yep. which I think is about the 563rd <laughs> time I've mentioned it on Blockhouse Buster Mendelity. Right? Yeah, yeah, Midnight, Midnight in Paris and La La yeah, Land. We, yeah, like, yeah, we do seem to uh, like mention Midnight two, in Paris a lot. Be true to yourself. One. Be true to yourself, as M. Hemming would say. Your said. truth, yeah. Yep. Make love to a truly well, great. Well, I appreciate those final thoughts. I really, I'm so glad that you've come on to the show and you you know gave me a new drive not that you know i wasn't getting that with Vinny or brandon but again it's just we things have evolved things have changed people get busy absolutely and uh Vinny and brandon obviously it's their show too they can come back anytime they want so all right dave 
100 episodes. High five. It's been great, man. Loving it. Yep. And uh, folks, follow us on Twitter. I am uh, at BC Cord. I'm at Dave underscore Quist. Follow the shows at Blockbuster Cast and follow us on uh, iTunes and uh, YouTube. Subscribe, yeah, give us a all review that. Review and rating, please. Review and rating. That's huge on iTunes. iTunes. is a very big deal. Yep. So just, you know, give it. Give it the five stars that you know. <laughs> Absolutely. And we, you know, you guys have been, you know, a lot of uh, interest in our Logan episode and our Infinity War yeah. episode. So we appreciate that. Absolutely. All right. Davo, 100 episodes down. Beautiful. Love it. All right. 100 more, right? <laughs> it's right. All right, folks. Well, that is it for us. For Davo, I'm Ben Secord. And as always, grab some popcorn, grab some snacks. We'll catch you guys at the movies. At the movies.